Hello YouTube friends, Alicia here. I'm just going to come on with um, a quick share of something I saw on the graphics fairy. Uh, for, you, for those of you that don't know, she does free giveaways, uh, digital giveaways every Friday as well as she has a paid membership, which is really great. I was actually a member for a year, um, but with not working and the US exchange, Canadian exchange, I just can't justify um, carrying that on as much as I would like to because her digitals are wonderful. But anyways, she also has sometimes different tutorials and things like that linked and they're not all of them are free, but there's a number of free ones that, she, well, I don't know how many of them she does, but that people that I guess design for her do. So I saw this on, um, one of the links that she had that was free and what it was it was, oh, I should have printed off, sorry, I should have printed off a solid one of, but it was a sheet of butterflies that obviously was not printed on um, acetate that uh, this lady offered. And what she had shown was how to make foiled stickers and with watercolor. And I mean, honestly, you can do whatever you want with them. So I also printed this on acetate. It needs to be done on a laser printer for what I'm going to show you. Um, I mean, obviously, if you uh, want to just print it on acetate and you have inkjet acetate, go ahead. Um, this is also, this acetate particularly um, is for a laser printer as well. So that was done with laser. Um, and for those of you that don't know, the difference between, well, I don't know the only difference, but one of the reasons that you need um, a laser printer for these kind of techniques is a laser printer runs on toner and it's not water reactive it's heat activated so um, obviously if you do watercolor on water reactive ink you're gonna have a mess as well as it's not gonna work through a laminator because laminators obviously run on heat as well so you need the heat um, of the toner or sorry the heat of the laminator to react with the toner to get the foil to stick so I made um, stickers and I'm just showing you different ones. I cut some of them out and then I'll show you a bunch that are not cut out. And of course to print it on and to get stickers you just print it on um, sticker paper or label paper or back it with double side tape. Um, I have, I got a box of 100 sheets of sticker paper very cheap uh, when one of our um, office supply stores went out of it. so. Um, that is what I did. And honestly, I don't find that the quality for something like this of the sticker paper matters. I have expensive sticker paper I tried it on and like the really cheap stuff and they both turn out great. So do not <laughs> buy really expensive paper, sticker paper just for a project like this. Um, but yeah, so all I did was I have foil that, this is Heidi Swap. I also have vintage foil, the LeMay foil that I buy at my thrift store. I don't even know really what LeMay is, or if I'm even saying it right, L-A-M-E, um, but I have all different colors of it that I get every time I come into my thrift store. And when I originally started buying it years ago, I didn't know what it was. I just bought it because it looked cool. And then of course I found out that, you know, it's for foiling. Um, <laughs> but I just, yeah, I didn't even realize it was a foil or anything like that. So yeah. Um, Okay, oh, sorry. What I'm showing you here is, here I watercolored, and this is a something I added, uh, what's not part of the tutorial, I waxed these. And the reason I waxed them, oh, well, that's why I grabbed this one, sorry, is because when you peel off the sticker backing, well, you can still see it a little bit, they become transparent. So they're like a transparent um, foil sticker. And then really nice part, Oh, of course they're gonna start to vacuum upstairs. That's great. Um, the really nice part about waxing is this foil technique is not foolproof. It can scrape off, but it's not gonna scrape off with the wax. So it also protects your surface. Um, so that's that. Um, that's these ones. These are the ones I cut out. This is just the sheet of them. So all I did was take some watercolors that I got off AliExpress. I need to do a video about some of that too. Um, they're not my favorite. I mean, they're very vibrant, as you can see, but they're gummy. 
Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be doing a video on my uh, mixed media cart and using supplies in there. So yeah, I, they turned out really pretty. I am sorry about the vacuum, you guys. He does not... Well, I mean, he vacuums. I just, I never know when, so it's not like I can schedule videos around that. But um, this, this is a copper foil. I love this one. This is one of the vintage ones. So I don't know if I'm going to paint them all or what. I like the idea of making them transparent, so I might just foil them and not um, paint some of them. Because the painting, well, it doesn't really detract from it, but I feel like on the multicolored ones, it would. I love these. These are also done with vintage foil. I love all of them. I'm not fussy. My silver ones. So, and of course, you can use any kind of wet media on this. And the foil, it will stick to the foil, but if you wipe it off quickly enough, it won't stick. Like, so you, you can get a bright foil. And then this is something... Okay. I was going to show you. Um, after you foil the sheet, like, so you run a sheet through, and then it, obviously, where the butterflies are, it's going to leave no foil, but you have all this extra foil. So all I did was I just put it on to, I get the, these I get done professionally just because I don't want to use this much toner. I um, print about 20 sheets of black paper. And this is just toner on here. So that I can use up the scraps or die cut or whatever, the foil. So this I will use like as a card background now or something. If, how can I show it to you? It's like distressed. So I thought that was really pretty. Sometimes it turns out really good and you get full butterfly imprints and sometimes it looks like a distressed mess, but um, I didn't see any point in wasting all that foil. Um, this is one I did with blue. And this one had some clear butterflies I could cut out of it. So this is the negative. Oh, I don't know if I can get this to focus. The negative. So the black part is the butterfly. Um, I can't get it to focus. The black part is the butterfly and of course the blue part. Okay, sorry. The black part here is... Well, it's the reverse of this. So the blue foil is what you're seeing here. And the black is where you would see the gold foil, right? Because it's the negative, if that makes sense. But they're both super pretty and I'm going to use both of them. So yeah, I just wanted to show you how I made foiled watercolor stickers. Uh, super easy, time consuming because you have to... First you have to print it, then you have to foil it, then you have to watercolor it, and then you have to um, wax it and then cut them out. So they are time consuming, but they are really pretty um, if you, you know, if you want to give it a try. And yeah, let me know what you think and I'll talk to y'all soon.